You missed, sucker! <laughs> ow, you did not- Ow, you bit me! You freaking bit me! What is up, Neophytes? My name's Alan, aka Neo Cryptor. <laughs> and uh, welcome to my look at Citadel Forged in Flame. Uh, if you're unaware, Citadel Forged in Flame is kind of a survival game. You don't have to worry about food or water. You do have to worry about the enemies in the world. Uh, you can tame creatures later on, though I have not got to a point where I can experience that. But... Uh, the big thing is you're a wizard, Harry, and you have all kinds of skills and uh, eventually you can fly around on brooms and and, and uh, do all that kind of thing while dealing with the environment and other players. Today we are going to be playing uh, in a single player world as we take a look at the game and you might notice uh, I look pretty cool. I don't. You don't look like this when you start. No, no, you don't. And you don't have a staff when you start. No, no, you don't. <laughs> um, but I kind of forgot to record intro. So spoilers, this is the gear that I get by the end of the video. So <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It helps us out a great deal. And I, I do mean any time. If you find yourself liking that video, liking this video, go ahead and just, you know, smash that button. Make YouTube hurt. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling the video. I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, this is, um, I, I, I will say I went in with a weighted opinion of this game, I guess, before we start going, because I, I tried it back in its free weekend during, um, right before it released, about the same time as Dark and Light released. Uh, and I, I was so underwhelmed with this game that I just, I, I couldn't stand it. And what is with that weird shadowy in effect? Hmm, interesting. But yeah, so I went into this really not expecting much. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, I, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, this game has came a heck of a long way uh, in a very short time from when I first took a look at it. Now I just need to fix the weird shadows because that just don't look right. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get things going. And yeah, see you on the other side. So I'm not going to show running back down there but i wanted to bring you guys back because i do find this interesting i res just respawned uh whereas i lost everything in my inventory anything i had equipped including the staff and the gauntlets is still here uh, i don't know if that is a thing just because i'm a single player or if that's the way it is if any of you guys play this in uh, on a server let me know is it like that on the server it just seems kind of weird uh but i'm i'm, I'm not gonna complain Nope, not going to complain because I still have my weapons, even though I'm just wearing tree bark around my fingers. Eh. Oh, look at them. My fingernails are kind of green. All right. Obviously, the first thing we are going to take a look at is character creation. Character creation seems, uh, you know, kind of meh, if I'm being honest here. Uh, you can pick between male and female, and each one only has like four head variations. You really cannot customize them. Here I am, Granny. Beyond, you know, choosing a face and calling it good with that. And the hairstyles, you know, same same deal, like four hairstyles to choose from. Um, so that's the thing. Oh my goodness. I'm like this old dude, man. I look like maybe a guy that was like, I don't know, like at that one place in the 60s. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, let's go with that face. Let's go with, oh, I don't know. Yeah, let's go with that hair. Oh, that was a short load to screen. And here we go with the, uh, waking up animation that all survival games seem very fond of. Although this was rather hot, man. It's, it's just hot. You know what I'm saying? You see what I did there, right? Now, I would like to go ahead and say that uh, this world is single player, and I am looking at this from the perspective of solo PvE play. Um, so, you know, your mileage might be might vary depending on if you're playing on a server or if you're playing uh, specifically in PvP. Uh, this is probably not the opinion you are going to like or want. So, yeah, just keep in mind this is a solo world. So, pretty standard fare. Walk around, hit E, gather resources. Um, you know, there, let's see, we're going to try and figure this out as we go. 
So these look to be like some tutorial things. Press I to open up the inventory. Here you could equip items, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there's my inventory. And oh yeah, this is a solo play and this is primarily just for checking out the game. I do have the rates cranked up a little bit. Uh, nothing to, oh my God, over the top. Uh, K to open knowledge ta the knowledge table. Okay, so we already have some points. Oh, let us go with a staff wild. Bang, Wilderbang gloves. Staff seems pretty good. Oh, Merle, Merle. But we're gonna go staff at the moment. And this glove thing because it looks interesting. Um, a hat's probably good. Spells. Um, mana blast. Lightning bolts. Uh, let's go with. Okay, so these are spells dependent on the weapon you choose. So we have the gauntlet thing and a staff. So we can go with that and um that let's go ahead i guess grab that as well uh do we have anything under structures okay we do all right so i guess we mosey on can i use anything without oh no okay so you have to have like a staff or something equipped so let's go ahead and get out of here by the way this is during the halloween update so it is littered with spooky things everywhere yes yes my darlings there be things arrive for the moon is full of the creatures i don't even know where i'm going with that just 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 forget i said that okay oh what's that it looks like a camp um maybe i spoke too soon all right so let's get some stuff and see if we can make uh i don't know let's make the gauntlets maybe uh what is it so and let's level up before i forget okay so this is a respawn stone that is probably going to be handy learn that and that and that's all we can learn here spells anything new over here uh no utility Hmm. Healy stuff, that's good. Mana stuff, that's also good. Items. And I'm not going to worry about picking up the other two. Let's go ahead and learn this fancy white robe. Okay, can we craft? Oh, we can. We can craft like a ton of these things. I, I think we only need one of each, though, to be fair. I do like the way that the crafting menu is organized. Uh, I will say that it's it's nice to have a list and a well, expandable list of categories to go through. So that is pretty. And we level up again. I may have the thing. I, I may have XP set maybe a scoosh too high. Just maybe. But you know what? Whatever. And we. OK, cool. So we can equip both of those. I have the gloves on. And now wait, is it K? Yeah. OK. And so this is for the staff and. I thought I already learned that. Did I not? Is there right click to learn? All right, so how do I knowledge spell book? Okay, here we go. So we can do that and that. And then I think if we hit G, yeah, it switches weapons. So we can do purify and that. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. This is a mana blast and whoa, <laughs> buddy. That looks like something I would like. L let's go check that out. And let's go take a look and see what is over here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a camp of some sort, it looks like. So let's go say hello to the indigenous neighbors. Maybe we shall build a small shack next to them. Hi, don't mind me. What are you? You are a blood orc. Hi, buddy. Ow. You're not, oh God, ah, why, 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 why? Okay, this is not very effective. Oh, did you throw something at me? I do not appreciate that. Oh, ow, don't, don't smack me in my face. My face is my weak place. Ow, yeah, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Oh, that's effective. Oh, and well, that worked well. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Neo video without me dying. All right, guys, so uh, yeah. The world is not as devoid of life as I thought, as I died a bunch. Not just to our friendly orcs over there, there was a fairy that I killed, that nearly killed me, and then a wild boar snuck up and killed me. Uh, I have leveled up some more, 
And now I've got the gathering skill or gathering spell. So it's pretty nice. I mean, it's got a pretty good range on it, as you can see here. So we're going to take a look after I gather some a little bit more uh, wood and things like that. We're going to take a look at the building mechanics and then we're going to roam around the map and see how many times we die. But yeah, the world is very, um, very life build. I, I tried this back during their free like beta weekend or whatever. Oh, there's a bunch of wolves over there. Um, and I wasn't impressed. I thought the uh, I thought the world was very, very void of life and it just felt kind of empty but now it's not so much that way it's actually a little bit more difficult than i thought it would be going into this which is cool which is very cool because originally i was thinking you know this is not this is not one of those games that uh, i i don't think anybody in ge is going to be uh, covering so we're not gonna have a group so it'd be probably pretty easy pretty boring with nothing to do but it's looking like they've done a lot of work to it so yeah anyway i'm going to continue to gather for a few minutes and we're going to check out the building mechanics all right guys so uh let's go ahead and try out some of this building stuff so this is our foundation is there any way to lower or raise it no i can right click cancels so it looks like you're kind of stuck in uh, placing them they, to in the grid. Um, sure, let's just do that, that, that. Okay, I do like how everything kind of snaps in and fades in. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, man. Okay, and we're out. Are we out of wood? No? Okay, so there's that. Now, can we make... Is there any stairs, maybe? What's this? Oh, yeah. Check that out. Perfecto. So let's do that. And I actually kind of dig these stairs. They look pretty cool. What's this? Stairs straight down. Oh, okay. So there's up and down. And then we have, oh, that's neat. That That's kind of cool, man. Let's, um, let's do that. Can we snap? We can. Okay, it looks like it needs some kind of foundational support, though. So that's the thing. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and cancel out here. What we got in here? Whoop, whoop. What do we got down here? Uh, okay, just some support columns, it looks like. Kind of neat. All right. What's our wall situation look like here? So diagonal wall. Oh, wow. Diagonal walls. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So... Do we have any windows? Is that a thing, maybe? Um, it probably, maybe under the doors? Yeah, okay, so we do have windows. And why can't I? Is that, what am Abandoned place thrown, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have to place a wall, and then we stick the door inside of it oh that is cool i dig that i really do so i bet the windows are the same way yeah pretty cool and we got what oh large double doors nice okay so let's go ahead and do that let's go back and do some more walls whoop not down there but you can stay there because reasons uh main reason being i'm lazy and uh, i just said it can stay there so it can stay there <laughs> Seems legit, right? And yeah, we are building right next to that work camp, by the way, guys. Just to let you know. All right. So if I place a wall here, will the door work there? Huh? Huh? You see what I'm saying? Oh, we're out of wood. Okay. So no problem. No problem. This, like I said, this uh, this uh, staff has a heck of a range. Let's see if I can hit this tree. Oh, check that out. So you can like just literally stop or stand right here and, uh, you know, <laughs> gather from your doorway. That's pretty awesome. What if I gather through the window? Hey, you. Oh, my God. Hitting that tree all the way back there. And yes, yes, I can gather from a window, guys. Oh, this is cool. I, I really enjoy this. They, I think they did a good job with the building so far. Other than the fact there doesn't seem to be any way to rotate pieces. I would like to see that because... Otherwise, everything's going to be kind of uniform in the on the entire map, which is, uh, I don't know. 
I, I feel like it kind of limits creativity, but the general overall feeling of the building seems to be pretty good. Seems to be pretty good. Okay, so now if I hit B again and go under wood and go down to the doorways and bam. Ah, uh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's go here. Oops. Um, oh, wow, that stretches that far. You know, you don't you don't say. I would not have even thought that that would work. Huh. That's cool. Now, what happens if I place this here? Will it do anything weird down here? No. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just then cap this off and get a roof on this structure. And now uh, we apparently need to place a throne, otherwise it doesn't count as our our base or our build. It counts it as abandoned. So let's go ahead and do that. And now where are the thrones? Uh, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and place a throne. This shall be our throne. Okay, so you can rotate, but you have it's still in a grid. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, can we interact with this at all? What's this? This is the respawn stone. We need precious stone. Don't know where to get that. And we need iron ingots, which means we need crafting stations, I'm assuming, like this forge. So let's go ahead and stick that downstairs and go. Ooh, go oh, oh, whoa. What is going on? The laggities. Oh my god. The laggities is real. Super real. Okay. I think that's a glitch from. Uh, uh, a glitch from uh your nerd neo can't talk today please stand by Bro, uh, it's a glitch from the placement okay i'm gonna go find some metal and we'll be back all right i'm gonna just start recording now as there's a bear running around so i know how much you guys like seeing me die so just in case something goes awry i figure you know what we'll, we'll show it i know these guys enjoy seeing me die so why not I already have a little bit of iron, so we're going to hope that that is enough for our needs for the moment. But I'm going to run back inside because I'm a coward. Yup. <laughs> Not really. But I do want to see what this does. So let's go ahead and put the iron in here. Uh, how do I make iron? Iron ingots. There we go. So let's go ahead and queue up all of the... It's, the UI seems a little sticky. I like... Like, I can't seem to select the iron ingots right now. So that's a little weird. Uh -huh. well, let's go ahead and give us some more health because, yeah, I'm going to need it. Let's, uh, let's just uh, go with that. Seriously, I, I'm double clicking. Uh, I can't seem to get it to do that. We're stuck on this for whatever reason. Uh, can't sell no inventory iron come on seriously what was the dealio okay let's maybe just try it from not looking at that and see what happens uh iron ingot iron ingot cloth anything but what we're stuck on all right it looks like I, why am i naked did my armor break weird okay it looks like i'm going to probably have to restart the game because it does seem to be a little bugged right now. All right, so now I'm gonna say that this is annoying. I just logged back in and it put me back at the very beginning uh, where I spawned in. So that is rather annoying. So apparently you absolutely have to have a respawn stone or whatever it's called in your base. Otherwise, every time you log in, you spawn here, I guess. I don't know if I'm wrong and you guys know uh, let me know in the comments, because if this is the way that works, that is really annoying. Also, uh, all my settings, I hope I hope they weren't like this uh, during the rest of the video, but all my settings from when I logged in to get settings set up and everything, reset. So, like, when I just logged in, the game was set to 720 by 1280 instead of 1080p. Uh, so, yeah, well, this might be an interesting video. Don't know. We'll, we'll have to look at that. So... But yeah, really, really annoying stuff right there. Not gonna lie. Now, hopefully I can find where my was building. So I think I need to go this way. Not sure. Do I actually have anything on me? Okay, I still have all my stuff. So that's something at least. Okay, let's try this one more time. 
Okay, now I can select it. Yay. So yeah, it was bugged out. So let's go ahead and craft it. Oh, that's cool. Tells you exactly what's crafting. Can we do anything here, maybe? No? Refined cloth? Okay. What about if we go here? Okay, you know, this will be handy. Let's go ahead and make up those. <laughs> Since I lost all the ones I made earlier. Oh, okay, so that wasn't there. So when the forge crafts something, it puts it in a bag on the anvil. That's that's a nice touch. That really is a nice touch. Now, what can we make over here? Anything? Okay, no? No. Nothing over here, weird. Okay. We can live with that. Loot all. Two iron ingots. Sure, why not? Okay, uh... I hear something wandering around outside. Hello? Hello? Be a friend or foe? I know the answer to that. Don't even bother. You're a foe. Alright, so let's see. Can we make any of... Can we make that uh, respawn thing? No, because we need precious stone. But we can make a chest, which will be very useful. There we go. So let's go ahead and... Oh, look, send all. That's super useful right there. Okay. Can we, I, I wish there was a loot all button in the hotkeys. I mean, there might be, but, and I might not know it, but that might be a thing. Looks like your basic chest actually has quite a bit of... Oh, give me that. Um, uh, send stack. Yeah. Transfer item. Bam! bam Nice. Uh, looks like your basic chest has plenty of space in it. I do like that too. Um, okay, so let's go into crafting. I think I should be able to make some cloth. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that too. Because naked is not conducive to adventuring. Just wow, would you look at the choices in torches? That is pretty cool. Uh, let's go with a nice cool blue torch which doesn't seem to give off any light whatsoever uh okay hmm. but we'll put them there because why not right okay so it just takes wood to make them that's neat and pretty cool How about one on each side of the throne? Okay, they do give off some light. They're just very pale. What about, can I? Yeah. Do that. Nice. 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 Uh, can't put one there. Well, let's go with a pure white on the inside. What do you guys think? I think that might be good. So right there. That's pretty glowy. Going right there. All right, how are we doing? Why does it sound like there's something grumbly outside? Huh. Investigation might be needed. All right, Blood Orc. This is for revenge when I miss. Bam! Eat it, Blood Orc. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. You have anything good? Ooh, look at that leather cloth. Okay, I'm cool with that. What is that? Some kind of wizard tower? You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, by the way, we are a wizard. I uh, now look like Gandalf. Gandalf the grayish white. Ha ha. These are Solomon's robes. I, uh, one of the things you can craft. I guess like the, technically the tier two maybe. Uh, I do like the uh, physics on the cloak. That's a nice touch. What is this? Hello, is there anybody home? I'm a traveling wizard, and I would like to maybe sell you my wares. I have some great skill at uh, 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 magic stuff. <laughs> Seriously, this thing just seems to go up forever. Hello? 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 This is on. Ah! Woodland Lookout. Okay. Uh, Lookout. Let's see what's up here. 
by the way you can right click a place on the map to mark it uh that's what that green thing you saw see on my ui is i marked my little little house my humble home on the lake shore that way i can find it a little easier oh this is oh unlock fast travel eh whoa okay that is cool that is cool i'm assuming we have to find other places to fast travel too like i don't think i can okay yeah i can't just teleport there cool so there's fast travel which is good because this map is actually pretty darn big so that's a thing that is very very handy i imagine this could be uh, a really good place in pvp to camp out and like catch people off guard uh we want to go maybe this way are there any caves on the map anywhere What's that? Natural mana pool, acid. So there is Solomon's Cave. Let's save some Solomon's Cave. I don't know what that symbol is. All right, let's go back and check out the cave. This bell I'm digging, by the way. It is very good. Very good indeed. Just a, you know, quick boost in speed. Makes the game around a lot easier. Oh, look! That looks freaky and interesting. Let's go check it out. Uh, uh that button. What we got? What are you? What are you? Undead. Hello, undead. Are you, are you allergic to fire like most undead? Not as allergic to fire as I would like for you to be. Okay. Dark essence. I wonder if this is part of the Halloween content or if this is just something that's normally here. Oh boy. No. No. No, 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 no. I need some space between me and them. Just saying. You guys do not give up. Do you? Uh, space, space needs space. Give me that space. You missed, sucker! <laughs> ow, you did not. Ow, you bit me! You freaking bit me! You suck, sir. I would like to tell you that. You you suck. You bit me. That's not very neighborly like Gorilla Grant. I guess I was the one that was throwing fireballs at you, so I can't complain too much, huh? Hmm. Let's go check out their little camp thing and see if there's anything cool over there. Or if there's any more undead that we need to vanquish with our wizardly might. Hello? Hello? Can can I bother you for a cup of tea? Oh, oh, I don't think they have tea. No, they definitely don't have tea. What do they have? Sweet, okay, this is definitely Halloween stuff. Ooh, journeyman conjuring helm. That looks freaking sweet. Oh my God, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Okay, okay, let's, let's walk over here. I don't know how the respawns and repops work, so let's make sure we're out of the way. Okay. Uh, uh. And let's turn off this UI. No, we can't turn off the UI because we need to look at this. All right, so let's do that. Oh, I can't wear any of this until like much higher level. That's that's kind of a bummer. Consume for plus one health regen, plus ten movement speed. Okay. Oh. How long does that buff last? I wonder. Huh pretty neat that is cool there's one of those stupid fairy things that killed me earlier oh my god you have so much health ah, leave me alone don't kill me you have incredibly way too much health for a weird little fairy thing ah, yeah. It's a spray. Oh, hi. How you doing? 
Oh, no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad pixie sprite thing. Can you die? Oh, God, there's more than one. I am so boned right at this moment that we are being boned in. Oh, God. I'm out. I'm out. Peace, homie. You win. Little freaky sprite thing, you win. Straight circle, straight circle, D mana, 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 moana. Oh, God. This is, this is nightmarish. Oh, oh God. We are so boned. And give me, give me some mana. Can I? No. Well, that happened. All right, guys, I really think that that's about all the time we have for this. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this game. My opinions are... Uh, I really, coming into taking a look at this game, I really didn't expect much because I remember back in the beta weekend that it had nothing but problems. It was it was horrendous. I really, really, really couldn't stand it, to be perfectly honest. So I kind of went in here with a very weighted opinion of the game, but honestly, I'm enjoying it. It has improved drastically since uh, my horrible beta experiences. And from a solo PvE standpoint, I think it'd be pretty fun. I'm actually probably going to play this some more. Um, so if you guys want to see me playing this, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more. Otherwise, yeah, I'm probably just going to play it on my own in my own time because, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure I, I, you know, I, there's so much more for me to take a look at. I mean, just look at the, the trees here. It's insane. The decorations, the spells, the building looks really good. I mean, white marble, how cool is that? And then uh, there's a plethora of spells. Ooh, pacify. Oh, you know, that would have that would, that would have been a thing. So, yeah. What's this? Mana sh That's That's another thing. So, right. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, this is pretty darn cool. I am really, truly enjoying it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it for any reason, feel free to go ahead and hit that thumbs down button because input is good, right? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the game in the, uh, in the description, in the description. Yes, edit my description. Tell me what you think of the game. <laughs> let me know in the comments because, I mean, we didn't even get to taming. We didn't even get to uh, checking out the flying because, oh, yes, you can fly. You can make a witch's broom and zoom around. I don't know how that works yet. So if you guys want to see more, please let me know because I would love to show you more. And until next time, guys, this is Neo, and I'll see you in game. Bye.